Okay, so in this class, we will learn some other conditional statements. Now, there are actually uh, three types of uh, conditional statements. The first type of conditional statement is actually called a converse. And the converse of P implies Q is actually Q implies P. The second is the inverse. Inverse means P implies Q. The inverse of the P implies Q statement becomes negation P implies negation Q. And the contrapositive uh, is a third type which says that if p implies q the contrapositive of p implies q will become what negation q implies negation p so these three types of conditional statements we will now uh, study a little bit so let me take uh, one simple exercise so that the three things will be clear to you so i will write the converse inverse and uh, contrapositive of the following statement the statement is that if it is raining then the team wins so this i will call the first part that it is raining i will call p so p is it is raining and q i will call to be the second part the team wins okay and the original question is given as what so let me write here question is given to us that if p then q if p then q means the question is actually given to us in the form of p implies q okay now i want to write in the first part i want to write the converse now, what is the converse of P implies Q? The converse of P implies Q is Q implies P. And therefore, what is my answer? My answer will be if the team wins, Q is what? The team wins. If the team wins, then Q, then P. What is P? Then it is raining. Then it is raining the second is inverse what is uh, inverse the inverse of p implies q is given by negation p implies negation q so the inverse will be if it is negation p so what is the negation of this p if it is not raining it should be in the format of if and then okay remember this because it is implication if it is not raining then the team will not win will not win if you are at good uh, if you're good at english you can write the team will lose okay no problem third the contrapositive is very important remember Contrapositive is saying that negation Q implies negation P. So what is the negation of Q? The negation of Q is if the team, first of all, it should be in the format of if and then. If the team does not win, then it is not raining then it is not raining so this becomes the converse which is q implies p inverse which is negation p implies negation q and contrapositive is negation q implies negation p okay now we will uh, discuss about uh, a new type of statement which is called as a biconditional statement so what is a biconditional statement this is the definition of a biconditional statement that if both p and q are true or if both p and q are false so yes there should be a false if both are true or both are false then the truth value is true otherwise it is what otherwise it is false so both of them should be true or both of them should be false only then i will write the truth value is true so it is denoted by what it is de denoted by this symbol p arrow from both the sides left arrow right arrow q 
and uh, this uh, biconditional statement is also written in some different ways so the common ways to express the biconditional statement is at first you can write it like this you can write in words at p if and only if q in short you can write p i f f q which means if and only if the second way you can write it as the biconditional statement also people say it in this way that p if p then q and conversely okay now all of you know what is meant by the converse we just now discussed that what is the converse of p implies q the converse of p implies q is q implies p right so we want it p implies q also and we want q implies p also in the in and and the most common way that it is used is it is also said that p is necessary and p is sufficient for q p is necessary for q also and p is sufficient for q also which means that p implies q and q implies p so these are the three ways the biconditional statement is written the truth table accordingly for if i use this definition the truth table will now become very easy so i will complete the truth table now i will write truth true false then i have false true and false false and what was the definition if both of them are true then it is true and if both of them are false then also it is true otherwise in the remaining cases i am going to write the answer as false so i will get a false here and i will get a false here. so this is the way the table of biconditional uh, statement is prepared okay now we will go for one uh, some simple uh, problem so we will now solve this problem construct the truth table for compound proposition p or negation q implies p and q so i will write the values of p and q here so the values of p and q is true 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 false false true and false false first i will write what is negation of q what is negation of q because i am needing a negation of q here right after getting the value of negation q i will then prepare the column for p or negation q uh, then i will get the left hand side then i will also prepare a column for p and q okay and then i will write here what i will suppose i call this a and i call this capital b here i will write a implies b what is the answer of a implies b which means p or negation q implies p and q so what is negation of q negation of q means you have to just take whatever is true will become false whatever is false is become true so this t will become f this f will become t this t will again become f and f will become t okay so true becomes false and false becomes true the next table the next column is p or negation q now we have p is here and negation q is here and we want to take a or we know that in or if uh, both of them are false only then it is false okay otherwise it is true so if both of them should be false okay the first and the third column okay see the first and the third column so true and false will become this is true this is false so it becomes true this is true this is true this will become true third row this is false this is also false so now it will become false and the last row is false and a true here so it will become true so this is how the third column is ready with us now we want to go for the fourth column now we want to take p and q so i am going to concentrate on the first and the second uh, line and and what is the p and q if it is in uh, <coughs> if both of them are true only then it is true otherwise it becomes false that is the answer for p and q so both of them should be true so true and true will become true true and false so it is wrong so it is false false and true is also false and false with the false is also false so this is how i get the values for the fourth column now the last is i want to have this is a implies b so true implies true is true true implies false which is the second row true implies false is always false in implication in implication false implies false is true and the last 
column is true implies false uh, and the last row is true implies false and that is again false so the final output is what tf tf this is the way this type of table is prepared